Hi everybody, this is Alex with UCCX.net and uh, what I'm going to show you today is a little cool trick. Um, I often get asked what's the easiest way to create uh, a virtualized UCCX environment, um, one that you can run in VMware and uh, i got to be honest, it's not very easy. Um, there's a lot that goes into VMware as far as the registry hacks that you need to do if you're on a legacy like CRS or IPCC um, solution. But uh, what I found that works very well with um, UCCX7 is to actually install the Windows 2003 operating system on a full-blown Cisco MCS server. Um, in the case today, we've got a 7825, I believe. Um, what we're going to do is actually spin the OS and install the Windows 2003 operating system, which is what you guys see right here. Uh, we're going to load up a program called VMware Converter, which will actually create a virtual machine from a physical machine, and then I'll show you how to run that program and actually create that process. So um, what I can show you here is just the basic... Uh, MCS server, it's nothing new, nothing fancy, just throw the disk in, uh, it's going to take you about an hour um, to go ahead and install it, but what we have here is just the base 2003 Windows operating system, 2003.1.2a. Um, what I have, I have a 500 gig hard drive plugged in that's an external, I've got a program that's actually, I believe it's free um, as long as you're a registered partner on VMware, but you can get VMware Converter. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is how to actually install the program. Uh, it's pretty simple. Wait for this little splash screen to come up here. Um, pretty much you can take the defaults through the whole installation process, but the first screen that will come up is the VMware Converter installation screen. Um, you have to actually accept the terms and license agreement. Um, I'm accepting the default folder here. I'm going to do a typical installation. Um, it's going to tell you that you're going to need 54 megs of space. I'm going to go ahead and install it. The process to install this takes about five minutes tops. I mean, it's not very bad at all. You'll notice as the install keeps going, you'll have a little VMware converter icon here on the bottom of the screen. And I actually want to run this now so I can show you how easy this will be. Um, one of the things you'll get here if you don't actually have a license for it is to continue in starter mode. Um, starter mode will work for what you need to do today. Um, so basically here's where we are now. We have a full-blown 2003 server and I want to convert this to a virtual machine. So what you'll need to do is to click the convert machine link here. Um, and you'll notice what we're going to be doing is convert a physical machine. So we're going to click on next. Now the first step here is to specify the source. So what I want to do is choose the source and I'm going to pick from the drop down here. It's a physical computer. I'm going to choose that it's the local machine. Um, not a remote machine. Now, the cool thing with VMware uh, Converter is you can actually tell it the IP address of a remote machine and give it the credentials to log in. It can actually create a virtual machine from a remote machine, which I think is pretty slick. And it'll tell you it's going to retrieve the source information here. Um, essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to create everything. We're, we're just going to take the defaults through this as far as what disks we want to uh, maintain or create. Now we're going to choose a destination. Um, now this is the only thing that is going to take a little bit of explaining here. Um, essentially you need to pick which type of VMware product you want to run this virtual machine on. We choose um, infrastructure here if you want to run it on an ESX server or you can do other um, if you want to run it on like a VMware workstation or a VMware server. Um, in my case, for my environment, I'm going to be, probably be running this in VMware Workstation simply because I don't have a nice server running around. Um, so what we're going to call this is UCCX7. In the location here, I'm just going to browse to my external drive, 500 gig hard drive. I'm going to make a new uh, folder here called UCCX7 VM image. And then you have to specify what workstation you want to run it in. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and do 6 because that's the workstation that I'm going to be running it on. Um, and the final op one of the final options here is to allow the virtual disk to expand. Um, and I also always choose split disk into 2 gig files. For me, on my workstation, it just makes it a little easier to copy it around. Um, and then finally, you need to choose how many NICs you have and the network mode. Um, there's a very good document on Workstation that will explain to you what each one of these does. I would recommend doing Bridged just because it will use the same network that your Ethernet is on uh, on your physical machine. 
And what you can also do, um, you can customize the OS. I always st install VMware tools. Now what VMware tools will do is it'll actually let you um, drag and drop files from the native OS to the virtual machine and then back and forth. And it also gives you some enhanced keyboard and um, uh, monitor options. And here we have a summary of everything that we're going to do. And we'll hit finish. Now, this would be a good time for you guys to grab some coffee because this is going to take probably 45 minutes to an hour to go ahead and run. Um, but essentially, that's all it is to it.